गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स दिस इज आशीष फ्रॉम द क्रैक आई एस सो आई बिन इंस्ट्रक्टेड टू डिस्कस ऑन द वेरी वन ऑफ मोस्ट सॉर्ट ऑफ्टर क्वेश्चन हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द सिविल सर्विस मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन सो हियर फॉर द नेक्स्ट हाफ एन आवर और लेट एस सी हाउ कैन इट गो वी विल डिस्कस द प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रेटीज फ्रॉम द Uh, point of a beginner as well as from the point of a veteran so uh, before starting our discussion i will like to uh, give you an insight of uh, all the uh, issues and challenges that an aspirant can go while uh, preparing for this one of most prestigious exam so uh, friends uh, basically it's a, a, a generic kind of discussion and uh, so expect only the motor motor things of the upsc mains examination basically uh, friends the journey of civil services exam is uh, considered as one of most strenuous as well as debilitating given the vastness of the vastness and the depth of the demanding syllabus which a candidate needs to cover within uh, a certain time period let us suppose one year of the uh, time uh, in co with quality in order to crack the code of the success that is the basic introduction to the uh, uh, the uh, the civil services examination also being human we all are programmed genetically as unique still we have a range of similar traits the same principle applies to civil services aspirant we all have the different background be it economical be it educational be it societal we all have different different background but we are connected by common thread the thread of preparation that is our common thread <coughs> and friends believe me a good number of aspirant face similar kind of threads as well as opportunities and we all carry few kind of strength as well as we all have many weaknesses that is fact of the Actually, in in this uh, video lecture, we will try to cut the clutter of various nuances of preparation and how to brush your grey areas while organically and systematically increasing our forte in order to increase the chance of success in the UPSC exam. So that is our main agenda. Friends, before starting, I will like to uh, quote a proverb, which is that like uh, when the why is clear, how becomes easy. I often quote this uh, statement i will repeat it when why is clear how becomes easy what ex exactly it means friends uh, what i feel that motivation is an inner drive it can be imposed on you you by so it can't be imposed on you by someone else and that will you will also realize there is a limitation of any external stimulus the external stimulus can drive you for hours days or even for a week but to remain motivated for a long time let us suppose for one year <coughs> we all need an inner drive friends that is one of the stark reality of our you know uh, preparation stage that we as friends mostly want our name in the list of recommended candidate but never take time to dig into the reasons why they want them so here the why factor becomes very crucial you need to be very clear why you want to clear this exam this is the first round of clearing this exam uh and in in most of cases this this is why the vast majority of aspirants fail to achieve their goals and give up the statistics of the success rate says it all and what what is the stats of this success rate i will give one empirical data from various uh, credible resources it it, uh, it is you uh, know it is uh, a well concluded fact that success rate of this, this coveted exam is only 1% how it is 1% friends while more or less than 10 lakhs of aspirants are filling the prelims uh, examination notified by the upsc only half let us suppose past <coughs> 5 lakhs turn out to be attempting this exam the prelims stage 
and those who attempt to 50, 10 to 15000 of aspirants are being declared uh, passed in the prelims, prelims exams by पहले कितने लोग फॉर्म कितने लोग भरते हैं दस लाख उसमें से कितने लोग अटेम्प्ट करते हैं पांच से छह लाख लोग ही अटेम्प्ट करते हैं और क्वालिफाई कितने लोग करते हैं मेंस के लिए दस सिर्फ दस से पंद्रह हजार लोग ये ये मेंस तक की जर्नी है और उनमें दस से पंद्रह हजार लोगों में सिर्फ हजार लोग ही का नाम ही रिकमेंडेड लोगों के लिस्ट में आता है आउट ऑफ टेन टू आर एबल टू सी दूवमेंट ऑफ देर लाइफ इन टर्म्स ऑफ uh uh their name in the list of recommended candidate so this is the stats from 10 lakhs to the 1000 so some of stats uh so what makes the recommended 1000 candidate different from the non recommended rest of the lot the y factor again i will quote the y factor is one of important you no know, uh, aspect of this preparation strategy Uh, friends, the process of clarity of thought on the why involves some deep thinking and soul searching. But the result are worth, and every second you invest in uncovering and defining the why. <coughs> Excuse me. So after going through this lecture, try to give some time for soul searching, and try to uh uh. get the answer of why you want to clear this exam this is very important aspect in order to remain motivated for next one year which is going to be next 5 or 6 month uh, before the prelims it's very important for the preparation point of view and in in case you want to see your name in the list of recommended candidates the why becomes <coughs> a very important fact factor again friends my why can be entirely different from your why or it can be similar or same to uh, to you also so try to search your soul you will sooner or later find the answer your friends basically who looks outside and try to reflect upon the question why now uh, there is uh, again one famous proverb If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not have to fear the result of hundred battles. It means, <coughs> sorry, you really need to know your enemy as well as yourself. Only that any battle can be won. It the real life battle or it the classical battle. But what it means when it comes to the preparation here, your enemy is exam. Is our enemy exam, and the battle is to clear this exam with flying colors, without any doubt. So, before going to the battle, try to explore the nature of the enemy. That is my suggestion to you all preparing for this exam. Simply putting, try to mug the entire syllabus of the UPSC before even thinking of attempting this exam. This is very, very, very important aspect of the preparation. The syllabus is ultimate guide and beacon light for. For for selective coverage of the plethora of the subject, that is very 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 important point. You need to go through the syllabus, go to the last year notification of the UPSC, print it out the the necessary part. उसको कहीं पे आप चिपका लो कहीं पे रख लो और रोज उसको तब तक पढ़ते रहो जब तक आपको syllabus completely याद ना हो जाए. I will let let you know what is the benefit of keeping syllabus handy with you. <coughs> Once you are thorough with the syllabus, try to do a SWOT analysis of yourself. I hope most of you are, you know, uh, aware of this SWOT analysis. SWOT stands for S W O T, which is a realistic, fact-based, based, data-driven, uh, which looks into your strengths and weaknesses, as well as the threats and opportunity posed by you. so that uh, you can avoid any weaknesses or threats while working more upon this opportunity in <coughs> strength area that is the basic fund of the sort analysis in sort as i said that is stand for strength weaknesses opportunities and threats When we talk about the strength, strength describes what one excels 
at and what separates it from the competitors before starting your preparation try to make a list of your strength it can be your command over any subject your capacity to grab any uh, you know article or concept your ability to memorize any fact or your presentation skills or even your handwriting can be a skill or strength for you that is the strength part of your analysis once you are done with your strength part try to look for the weaknesses weaknesses essentially means that which stops a person from performing at its optimum level that is described as the weaknesses in swot analysis <coughs> and these are the area one needs to improve to remain competitive for this exam and friends this is no denying the fact that we all have some kind of like we can uh, 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 I, like for me i am unable to recall the facts like mujhe facts bahut zyada yaad nahi rehte or you can have the poor guessing skills or comprehensive skills uh, you, you can lack on this comprehensive skills thing so it, it is very natural to have some weaknesses one of you can have the slow speed of writing or few of them of, of uh, you people have some problem with the handwriting unki handwriting legible nahi hoti hai to wo bhi ek weaknesses here we will have to look into this uh, weaknesses aspect in order to work upon it weaknesses aapke uh, this the handwriting i try to write down more and more aapki weaknesses is fact memorize karne mein hai kuch to try to devise some you know kuch uh, short tricks devise kar lo isse aapko aapki weaknesses jaise uh, facts us yaad rakh sake or anything just it is a personal analysis <coughs> to ask anything about you know ki ye karna hai there is no thumb rule so try to look into your soul or heart and try to look for this your weaknesses what are your weaknesses now coming to the third dimension of the swot analysis that is opportunities uh, basically opportunities refers to the favorable external factor that could give you a competitive advantage over the other aspirants for example you can have a good googling skills or can make a crisp note of any newspaper article it can be your op uh, opportunity to excel at, on in that area <coughs> so try to look into this also ki what is your uh, you know uh, opportunities uh, before you now coming to the last dimension of this uh, uh, you know uh, analysis that is known as the threat which actually refers to the factors that have potential to harm your goals for example excessive use of the social media can be a potential real life threat for you for the preparation <coughs> sorry or excessive social gathering at chai wala shop can also be a threat for you for basically uh, you know uh, you and before your goal it can be a potential threat so you will have to look into these aspect very carefully so after Uh, uh you are done with this video lecture try to draw one sort box a checker box kind of thing <coughs> and try to pin down your all this strength weaknesses opportunities and threat on a blank paper in order to <coughs> sorry in order to do a comprehensive analysis of yourself that is the main funda Once you are done with this sort analysis, you are ready to fight the battle. Okay, as I stated earlier, we all share some common traits and traits. Based upon my journey of UPSC so far, I will try to answer a few common problems of fellow aspirants in order to remove the difficulty faced by common aspirants. Excuse <coughs> me. and we call it a faq which is known as frequently asked question uh, uh and for next 10 or 15 uh, minutes we will discuss few different different type of the uh, you know uh, questions which the common aspirants faces in general before that i will like to uh, you know give a, a short analysis of uh, basically <coughs> i am prepared for a uh, few 
questions at my own uh, depending upon the uh, you know uh, nature of this exam basically i will give you a short uh, five minute uh, time to the fact how the exam is being conducted and what are the eligible eligibility criteria and all so basically as per the upsc notification upsc exam civil service exam consists of two stages stages first they call it prelims <coughs> second they call it mains and mains is consisted of two part written and interview that is what upsc says unlike the <coughs> sorry i'm slightly unwell so please pardon me so i will repeat the uh, the upsc exam consists of two stages so prelims and mains prelims con consists of the you know the the objective type questions and mains is divided into two first is written and second is the interview uh, uh in general parlance written is also known as the mains but uh, interview is also part of the mains as per the upsc uh once you are done with interview your name can be reflected into the list of recommended candidate depending upon the nature of vacancies also a uh, few uh, we face many of uh, few you know, uh, for the you know beginners there are a few questions so like uh, what is the age and the educational criteria i will give you a next 5 minute on to it also date of birth is basically uh, you know uh, the authentic document for the date of birth certificate is considered the matriculation or 10 plus 10th uh, uh, class certificate which is only valid and it is being looked after for, by the upsc on the educational uh, background degree of any of the university be it state or the central or any open university it is valid aapko bas ek degree honi chahiye kisi bhi subject mein be it science engineering arts kisi bhi subject mein hona chahiye as well as, as well jo third year mein hai aur jinka result awaited hai wo bhi apply kar sakte hai but unko uh, aap yadi recommend ho jate hai to at the time of uh, you know your df ke time mein detail application form jab hoti hai uske time mein aapko आपको शो करना पड़ेगा कि आपने पास कर लिया है दैट इज बेसिक क्राइटेरिया आप दो टाइप का यहाँ पे कोर्सेस है इंडिया में थ्री ईयर और फोर ईयर इवन एम बी एस इज फाइव ईयर तीन टाइप का कोर्स है ऑल आर एलिजिबल जिनके पास बैचलर्स की डिग्री है और जिनका रिजल्ट अवेटेड है एंड टेक्निकल डिग्री होल्डर्स लाइक द बी टेक एंड जो भी हैं वो भी एलिजिबल होते हैं ठीक है ना और जिन्होंने एम किया होता है डॉक्टर्स की डिग्री जिनको होती है वो भी एलिजिबल है जो इंटर्नशिप के फाइनल ईयर में है उनके लिए क्या होता है कि उनको वो भी एग्जाम में बैठ सकते हैं प्रीलिम्स एग्जाम में ठीक है ना लेकिन उनको जब आ, 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 अपना रिकमेंड हो जाते हैं तो उनको सर्टिफिकेट दिखाना पड़ता है कि दे सक्सेसफुली पास द एमबीबीएस एग्जामिनेशन ठीक है दे हैव सिक्स अटेम्प्ट्स फॉर द जनरल कैंडिडेट और अदरवाइज नाइन अटेम्प्ट फॉर द ओबीसी कैटेगरी कैंडिडेट्स एंड द एस सी एस सी it is uh, there is no limitation as of now so uh, and uh, for the person with the benchmark disability in case you are falling into the general category means the koi general category ka banda hai bandi hai aur wo unko wo benchmark uh, disability ke category mein category mein aati hai to unko no attempt milta hai otherwise aap kisi aur category mein ho to aapko only limited number of attempts milta hai that is the basic Uh, basically an introduction to the examination ye hame bahut sare questions jo new comers hote hain unse aate hain jo already thorough hain isme unke liye unko koi badi baat nahi hai aur attempt kaise count hota hai us pe bhi main ek minute laga deta hu aapne ek baar prelims de diya tha aapne ek attempt de diya to aapko mana ek matlab prelims mein baith gaye to ek attempt mana jayega last year kisi ne push kiya tha mood kiya tha ek idea ki jinhone bhi exam bhara hai unko ek attempt mana jayega but it is not viable per se so it is not there ki jo bhi bharenge exam unka attempt mana jo attempt karte hain prelims examination unko hi attempt count kiya tha jis tarah jis aap next 2020 mein aap attempt kar rahe hain to ek attempt aa jayega aur jitne bhi attempt uske baad honge usse plus 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 ho jayega even aap ki aap ek paper attempt karte hain dusri ko bach chhod dete hain fir bhi wo ek attempt hi count kiya jayega aur disqualify kar jate hain tab bhi ek attempt hi mana gaya jayega jaise kisi ne ink chala diya hai ki ya kisi ne cheating ki unfair means use kiya to wo bhi ek attempt mana jayega लास्ट लास्ट ईयर रिस्ट्रिक्शन इम्पोज हो गई है मीन्स आप यदि आई ए एस और आई एफ एस ऑलरेडी है तो यू कॉन्ट यू नो क्वालिफाई फॉर द मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन प्रीमियम बैठ जाओ मेन्स में आप क्वालिफाई नहीं करोगे और जो आई पी एस है 
जो ऑलरेडी सर्विस में उनके लिए आई एफ एस आई और आई एस के लिए सिर्फ नहीं है उनको अब डिस्ट्रिक्ट कर दिया गया लास्ट लास्ट ईयर सो फिजिकल स्टैंडर्ड्स कुछ पोस्ट के लिए होते हैं जैसे आईपीएस के लिए आपको कुछ सर्टन फिजिकल स्टैंडर्ड्स भी होंगे बाकी मोस्ट ऑफ पोस्ट के लिए आपको बेसिकली ऑफिस वर्क करना तो उसमें फिजिकल स्टैंडर्ड्स की रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं होती है सो दीज वर द और प्रिलिम्स में आपको क्या क्या भरना होता है सेंटर डिटेल ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट मीडियम ऑफ एग्जाम फॉर द मेन्स मीडियम ऑफ एग्जाम फॉर द ऑप्शनल एंड कंपल्सरी इंडियन लैंग्वेज ये आपको इतने सारे डिटेल मिनिमम डिटेल्स आपसे भरा जाता है यूपीएससी का फॉर्म बहुत ही इजी होता है भरने के लिए सबसे इजी वन ऑफ इजीएस्ट फॉर्म आई हैव एवर फिल्ड इन माय लाइफ इज यूपीएससी का एग्जाम नो आई कमिंग टू द मेंस एग्जाम दैट इज द मेंस यू नो पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन फॉर आवर दिस इंटायर वीडियो लेक्चर दैट इज मेंस एग्जाम सो फ्रेंड्स एज पर यूपीएससी द मेंस एग्जाम कंसिस्ट ऑफ रिटर्न एग्जामिनेशन एंड द इंटरव्यू टेस्ट एज आई सेड अर्लियर बेसिकली द रिटर्न एग्जामिनेशन कंसिस्ट ऑफ नाइन पेपर्स of conventional essay out of which two papers are qualifying in nature to total no paper hote hain jisme do qualifying hote hain kon kon se hote hain main bata deta hu aapko candidates who obtain such minimum qualification marks in the written part of the main examination as may be fixed by the commission at their discretion are summoned by them for an interview as a personality test this is the word these are the words of the upsc notification itself and marks obtained by the candidates in the main examination that is written part as well as the interview part determine their final ranking means aapko main examination mein jisme consist hota hai written examination aur interview personality test un dono ke marks count hote hain aur wo aapke final ranking mein aapki help karte hain candidates are allowed to the various services keeping in view their ranks in the examination and references references expressed by them on the various services in the post jo ab ye bhi thoda absolute ho jata hai because because post uh, in obi jo is government ki policy hai ki pehle aap uh, academy mein jayenge wahan se aapko cadre wagera allocate hoga pehle aapko cadre chunna padta tha aapko se so these are few essentials so it, it was a brief of the examination now i will talk about the qualifying papers पेपर ए एंड पेपर टू बी आर बेसिकली क्वालिफाइंग नेचर पेपर ए में क्या होता है वन ऑफ द इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस टू बी सेलेक्टेड बाय द कैंडिडेट फ्रॉम द लैंग्वेजेस इंक्लूडेड इन द एज शेड्यूल ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इन केस इट इज नॉट क्लियर टू यू प्लीज गो टू द प्रीवियस ईयर नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ द यूपीएससी इट विल बी क्लियर टू यू आल्सो एंड इट कंज मार्क्स आ गए आप क्वालिफाई कर दिए जाते हैं मिनिमम मार्क्स नहीं आते आप डिसक्वालीफाई हो जाते हैं लाइक द सीसीएट पेपर ओनली सीसीएट पेपर 2 जो होता है यूपीएससी का उसमें भी यही होता है कि आपको एक मिनिमम मार्क्स लाना होता है उससे कम लाते हैं डिस्कालीफाई उससे ऊपर कितना भी लाए कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है बस क्वालिफाई करना होता है तो दीज टू आर द क्वालिफाइंग पेपर्स इन द नेचर नौ पेपर्स टू बी कॉन्टेड फॉर मेरिट्स आर डिवाइडेड इनटू पेपर वन पेपर टू पेपर थ्री एंड टू टू फिफ्टी मार्क्स का होता है वेर इन वन वेर इन द एस्पेरेंट इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू राइट एन एस ऑन द स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक मीन्स आपको कोई टॉपिक दिया जाता है the choice of subject will be given in that means aapko maan lo corruption pe aa gaya hai ya is type ka koi exam aa gaya to aapko options dete hain part a and part b mein alag alag type ke essays puche jate hain and what upsc expect out of you in the essay as per the upsc they expect uh, one aspirant is expected to the keep closely to the subject of the essay means aapko the corruption pe aaya hai koi question to aapko corruption pe hi likhna hai idhar udhar nahi jana hai theek hai na ये यूपीएससी बोलती है एंड दे मस्ट अरेंज देर आइडियाज इन द लॉजिकल एंड ऑर्डरली फैशन ऐसा नहीं है कि आपने पहले फर्स्ट से शुरू किया और फिर पंद्रह पे आए फिर पंद्रह से फिर दो पे आए दो से फिर सोलह पे ऐसे नहीं होता आपको लॉजिकल ऑर्डर में आपके सारे रीजनिंग एंड चीजों को अरेंज करना होता है दैट इज वॉट यूपीएससी इज सिकिंग आउट ऑफ यू and finally they will have to uh, they are uh, supposed to write on any subject very concisely means try to avoid flowery language or these kind of thing which are not needed like bahut zyada lengthy nahi hona chahiye words bade concise hone chahiye choice of words should be very beautiful theek hai na to ye sab cheeze upsc is what seeking out of you now coming to the paper 2 which which all also carries 250 marks and it, we call it general studies One and uh, the brief syllabus I will discuss 
in a uh, few words like indian it carries of the syllabus of the indian heritage and culture history and geography of the world and the society this is the uh, the syllabus overall the syllabus of the general studies paper 1 now coming to the paper 3 or general studies paper 2 which also carries 250 marks and uh, the syllabus uh, what upsc is uh, have outlined is the governance constitution polity social justice and international relations these these are the syllabus of the uh, general studies paper 2 or in general paper 3 now coming to the paper 4 which we also call general studies paper 3 and it, it carries after 250 marks as well and the syllabus includes technology economic development biodiversity environment security and disaster management these are the <coughs> basic uh, syllabus of the paper 4 or general studies paper 3 now coming to the paper 5 which is general studies paper 4 which consists of the ethics aptitude and integrity basically ethics integrity and aptitude it is uh, mentioned as it is now coming to the paper 5 fifth or general studies paper 4 which also carries 250 marks uh, sorry paper 6 which is uh, optional subject and there are two papers in optional subject Each consisting of paper two fifty marks in general. Okay, na. So while calculating all this uh, scenario, sub test total of the written test carries one seven five zero marks. मतलब सत्रह सौ पचास marks आते हैं सारे papers को मिलाके. Or personality test or interview जो होती है वो two seventy five marks की होती है. जिसको हम मिला लेते हैं grand total कर लेते हैं. In case you are very good into this set, आपने अभी तक कर लिया होगा. तो two zero two five marks grand total आता है. This this is the broad uh, outline of the examination. Or, if you two zero two five may the thousand marks are, that means fifty percent be are, na. So be sure that your selection is pakka hai. That means you have fifty percent marks to get to qualify for this exam. Ko. So these are the broad outline of this examination. Now, coming to the FAQ part. FAQ part me. Uh, uh there is one question from neha please suggest on the strategy to clear this mess i am discussing neha i am discussing this uh, thing only and uh, we are discussing in a better manner also <coughs> so uh i will discuss few faqs made by myself only in order to give you a, a brief uh, synopsis of the overall examination strategy Uh, generally, uh, like uh, aspirants ask for, like what is uh, first question is what is UPSC seeking from me, and how to align my preparation with the expectation of the UPSC. This is very common question that everyone asks, or even you can ask, or जब आपने preparation शुरू preparation शुरू किया या फिर जिन्होंने अभी शुरू नहीं किया जो सोच रहे हैं सोल्व करने का उनको भी ये लगता होगा कि UPSC actually देखना क्या चाहती है मेरे में से ठीक है ना what they expect out of you. The answer is the official like quality. OLQs is what UPSC seeks out of you, and for the same, there are a few instructions and guidelines which needs to be taken care of by any candidate. At the same time, what are the OLQs? I have discussed as per the UPSC, few officers like qualities are mentioned uh, as uh, below like. Uh, first is the legible handwriting. Second is the in-depth knowledge. Third is the precision. ये UPSC के notification से ही मैं बोल रहा हूँ अपने मन से नहीं बोल रहा हूँ. And uh, as for the UPSC, what consists of the legible, uh, legible, uh, legible handwriting uh, domain? Uh, as per the UPSC, if a candidate's handwriting is not easily legible, a deduction will be made on this account. From the total marks, otherwise accruing to him means your handwriting is not good, so your marks will be deducted. This is the word of the UPSC notification. So, in case you are having pathetic or poor handwriting, please try to improve upon it. It is very easy. You know, you can do it <coughs> easily. No, second is the uh, in-depth knowledge is what UPSC is seeking out of you. When we talk about the in-depth knowledge, it is uh, clearly written in the notification that marks will not be allotted for the mere superficial superficial knowledge. For the example, आप से कोई पूछे यदि कि what is NSG groups तो आप बस ये बता दो कि non-supplier groups ऐसे करके कुछ है बस सर मुझे नहीं पता इससे ज़्यादा तो नहीं पता क्योंकि इतना ही है तो UPSC is not 
for going to appreciate this. It's clearly written in this UPSC examination notification. So try to use the beyond conflicting socio-economic goals, objective and demands. This is what UPSC is seeking out of you. I will repeat. The questions are likely to be uh, likely to test the candidate's basic understanding of all relevant issues, ability to analyze and to take a view on conflicting socio-economic goals, objective and demands. That is what UPSC is seeking out of you. Also, UPSC asks for that the candidate must give relevant, meaningful and succinct answer. That is also the OLQs which is UPSC is seeking out of you. <coughs> now, these are very subjective in nature. So, uh, there is one leading question I have framed as well that exactly what officers like qualities UPSC is seeking out of you your mass examination. First, personal suitability of the candidate for the career in the public service. Try to dig into this uh, yourself. So, what analysis is if you are suitable for the civil services uh, career or not? Second, mental caliber of a candidate. Third, when I talk about the mental caliber, you have seen that in the last few years, you have seen ethics ka paper so that you have a prepared mind, hai, muscle memory, which is set, and you have a shock, and you have a natural cheese. That is one of the reasons. <laughs> Again, third uh, trait is like UPSC is not only looking for intellectual qualities out of you, but also social tra traits and your interest in the current affairs. So, current affairs is one of sine qua non of this preparation. Now, coming to the fourth uh, quality is mental alertness is seeking by you. So, he said your paper is basically to test that thing also from my point of view or uh, uh, case studies also looking some mental alertness of your own, uh, an issue. Uh, the fourth, fifth quality is the critical power of assimilation. Means you can assimilate so quickly and this is a critical power of assimilation. Ki. That is what UPSC is seeking for. Next is the clear and logical exposition of anything. You are clumsy flimsy. Nahi hona Thik hai na? Bohut hi clear and precise. Hona that is what UPSC is seeking out of you. Balance of judgment, you have to be biased. If political party is affiliation or affection, you have to be biased. If you have to be biased, you have to be biased. If you have to be biased, you have to be biased. If you have to be biased, you have to reflect on your answer. If you have to be biased, you have to be biased. If you have to be biased, please don't reflect into your answers. That can backfire you badly. Next one is the variety and depth of interest. Means आपके interest में variety भी होनी चाहिए, depth भी होना चाहिए. ठीक है ना ऐसा नहीं कि बस shallow shallow. जैसे आपको cricket के बारे में आपने बोला कि हाँ, my hobbies are cricket. और आपके बारे में उसमें variety भी होनी चाहिए और depth भी होना चाहिए. जैसे ऐसा नहीं बस cricket की ball होती है और हम लोग के लिए डंडा लगा के खेलने लगते हैं. उसमें आपको बहुत सारे technical चीजें भी पूछी जाती हैं. Next quality is the ability of social cohesion and leadership. And the last quality is the intellectual and moral integrity. That is what UPSC is seeking out of you. Uh -huh. Next question is from the Shivani. Sir, how should we proceed with the writing practice? Shivani, I will come to this uh, point also. Thank you for the question. Now, I would like to uh, give answer to the Neha's question precisely. How to what should be the strategy strategy to clear this exam? Now look, there is no thumb rule and single formula to crack this exam. But there are few time-tested ways and means to clear this exam. Friends, before even thinking for the mains, first do a SWOT analysis of yourself, which will help you to understand yourself itself. Based upon it, try to evolve your own customized strategy. Just say, your phone, you have customized it. Na, its cover is different, its skin color is different, its ringtones are different, its display profile is different. Try to do this SWOT analysis with yourself also. You know where your strength is, where your weaknesses are, where your cover is needed, where your skin color is needed, where your brush is needed. Try to do this from uh, for yourself at least. 
and try to dig into the strategies adopted by the successful candidates matlab successful candidates ka yadi koi interview ya kuch aa raha hai i will suggest you to go through it the strategy itself wo aapko insight milega but don't try to copy cat them because sabki strategy alag hoti hai sabki journey alag hoti hai try don't try to be someone else try to be yourself that is the basic funda आप क्योंकि वो कोई रात को पढ़ना अच्छा है किसी को लगता है आप भी रात को पढ़ने लगे हो और आप डे पर्सन हो तो इट विल बैक फायर यू बैडली सो ट्राई टू डू फर्स्ट शॉर्ट एनालिसिस देन गो फॉर द स्ट्रेटेजी एडॉप्टेड बाय द सक्सेसफुल कैंडिडेट्स एंड आल्सो लुक फॉर सम यू नो टिप्स फ्रॉम द अनसक्सेसफुल और नॉन रिकमेंडेड कैंडिडेट व्हिच विल रियली गिव यू अ वेरी गुड इनसाइट ऑन द व्हाट टू नॉट डू व्हाइल अटेम्प्टिंग दिस एग्जाम सो व्हाट टू डू इज वेरी इजी व्हाट टू नॉट डू इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट and try to dig into this uh, you know in case you are going to any try to google it what to not do for the upsc preparation you need to go for this as well uh again we all are evolved as homo sapiens sapiens so i hope you carry a very good brain over yourself okay so and uh, this is a high time you know you should start doing this swot analysis and try to work upon your strength weakness opportunities as well as uh, threat for example in case you you love uh, being lone wolf try to uh, study in you know alone or uh, you can be a social animal as well so try to study in groups so try to evolve your strategies based upon your nature itself like what you like and what you dislike try to do a sort analysis after that start preparing for the examination don't uh, you know be a blind uh, prepared uh, you know uh, aspirant be, uh, before going this uh, you know very difficult exam i will rather say so this is all we needed next question is shall i refer previous years upsc question or not as the upsc is changing and evolving each year upon the nature and depth of the question this is very a uh, no, general question uh, we come across and uh, बेसिकली इसका मतलब क्या है कि हमें क्या यूपीएससी के प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन को देखना चाहिए क्योंकि यूपीएससी खुद अपने आप को हर एक कमिंग ईयर के साथ इवॉल्व कर रही है बट यस इसका आंसर ये है यस है पक्के से देखना चाहिए श्योर फॉर एग्जांपल मैं एग्जांपल तो क्यों देखना चाहिए बहुत ही रिजनेबल आपको लगेगा आप में से यदि कोई क्रिकेट देखता होगा और समझता होगा ठीक है ना तो आपको पता चलता होगा पता होगा कि क्रिकेट में एक्चुअली एक ही बॉन्सर अलाउड है पूरे वनडे क्रिकेट में वनडे क्रिकेट में एक बॉन्सर अलाउड है ऑफिशियली उसके बाद करते हैं तो नो बॉल हो जाती है तो बेसिकली यूपीएससी भी एक वनडे क्रिकेट ही है जिसमें आपको एक बॉन्सर तो मिलना मिलना ही है ठीक है ना वो बॉन्सर आपको मिलेगा सबको मिलेगा बेसिकली द ट्रेंड एंड डेफ्थ मैं इसे वो बॉन्सर वाली स्टोरी आपको बता रहा हूँ जो डेफ्थ और द ट्रेंड है यूपीएससी की वो डेफिनेटली चेंज हो रही है बट बॉन्सर जो आएगा ना वो एक या दो ही आएगा आउट ऑफ इच पेपर मींस एक या दो से एलियन क्वेश्चंस एक या दो से हर एक पेपर में ज्यादा नहीं आएंगे उससे ज्यादा अलाउड भी नहीं मुझे लगता है कि है इनके रूल्स में ठीक है ना क्योंकि ये पास्ट एनालिसिस से पता चलता है और बी श्योर sure यदि आपकी स्ट्रेटेजी अच्छी है आपने अच्छे से पढ़ी पढ़ाई करी है तो वो जो एक या दो एलियन बॉन्सर्स क्वेश्चन होंगे ना वो आप जैसे हर एक एक्सपेरेंट को परेशान करेंगे ठीक है ना वो बॉन्सर सबको परेशान करने वाली तो try to uh, you know don't uh, be panic on this one or two bounces try to grab the rest of the question yani ki ek ball bouncer hai usko chhod bhi sakte ho attempt bhi kar sakte ho but wo panch ball jo over kiya hai usko to attempt karna hi karna that is the basic funda so definitely yes <coughs> previous year upsc question are actually a role model or model uh, to give a very good analysis or to start preparation so please 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 go through this uh, previous year upsc questions of the mains because you are talking about the year on mains only it will give you a very very good uh, you know uh, you know uh, uh, you will try to basically grab the nature of the upsc and will it be uh, can uh, basically you need to study the trend from the previous year question uh, and prepare them and try to do an autopsy of all this question <coughs> of the each top each subject and each topics even we have divided our uh, you know entire syllabus in three into three 58 topics you can also go to the, uh, our website for this link of the uh, you know topics in order to give a better understanding of the syllabus and the nature of the question being asked out of it uh again 
try to dig out into each subject and the topics and try to also dig out into the important important subjects and the topics means koi topic is important hai to usko pehle segregate kar lo us pe zyada se zyada time do taki aapko wo zyada marks fetch ho jaye aapke exam mein that is the uh, basic funda so please 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 go to the previous year questions now coming to the next question given the vastness of the syllabus i am confused uh, what shall i study and what what can be left please help this is the next type of question basically it's, uh, friend it is the smart work now that pays not always the hard work i will recommend you to go for the selective and reflective study and uh, your study should be quality based uh, not the quantity based quality jitni bhi zyada hogi study ki wo utna acha ho number of hours doesn't matter koi 8 ghante mein wo acche se kuch pad sakta hai koi 12 ghante mein nahi pad pata तो स्वॉट एनालिसिस करो आप देख लो आपकी क्या क्या चीजें हैं आप क्या क्या अच्छे कर सकते हो ट्राई टू डू दिस एनालिसिस एंड ट्राई टू गो फॉर द स्मार्ट स्टडी एंड फ्रेंड्स यू शुड नॉट ले इम्फेसिस ऑन जस्ट रीडिंग मोर एंड मोर बुक्स मैगजीन्स एंड जर्नल्स बट रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन योर सब्जेक्ट एंड ट्राई टू मास्टर इट जस्ट गो टू द सिलेबस एंड ट्राई टू डू द सेलेक्टिव स्टडी ऑल्सो यू शुड डेवलप योर रैशनल फैकल्टी टू एसिमुलेट रिलिवेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड एनालाइज प्रॉब्लम डिसपैशनेटली मीन्स आपको यदि कश्मीर पे कोई क्वेश्चन आया और बहुत ही प्रो कश्मीर हो या फिर एंटी कश्मीर हो मान लो एग्जांपल डोंट ट्राई टू नो गो फॉर ओनली प्रो कश्मीर थिंग्स और द एंटी कश्मीर थिंग्स और एंटी कश्मीर थिंग्स और प्रो कश्मीर थिंग्स जस्ट ट्राई टू डेवलप ए बैलेंस जजमेंट ऑफ एनी इशू बी इट एंड टेरिज्म कोई भी टॉपिक पे डोंट बी इमोशनल इमोशनल नहीं होना किसी सब्जेक्ट पे बी इट और चाहे आप कितना भी उससे उसको लेके बायस क्यों नहीं हो इमोशनल नहीं होना उस को लेके फर्दर एनी रीडिंग मस्ट बी पर्पसफुल विद इजेंसली मींस दैट डिस्टिंग्विशिंग बिटवीन द इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द रिलेवेंट स्टडी मटेरियल दिस इज द की एंड यू मस्ट कीप इन द माइंड दैट व्हाट इज यूजफुल फ्रॉम द एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड फॉर इट जस्ट गो फॉर द सिलेबस अगेन एंड अगेन एंड अगेन दैट इज द की नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज आई एम लुकिंग थ्रू लॉट्स ऑफ रीडिंग एंड इट इज गोइंग स्मूथली एज प्लान but i don't feel like attempting mock test paper of mains what is the way out <coughs> this is basically a question related to shivani as well statutory warning is that don't procrastinate upon the answer writing practice that is the warning for you, all of you who are going who are willing to write the mains please don't procrastinate on the answer writing practice it is fatal fatal and fatal like anything please uh, no friends no matter how smart and well prepared you are on the reading and understanding any concept or uh, remembering any fact but it is of no use if to, you don't apply uh, them so basically knowing enough is not enough but reflecting your knowledge into the answer sheet is what is needed to crack this examination so don't wait un uh, until you are prepared fully बिकॉज ये फुल प्रिपरेशन का जो एक है ना कंसेप्ट वो पूरा का पूरा कंसेप्ट ही खराब है फुल प्रिपरेशन कभी हो ही नहीं सकता गिवन द सिलेबस एंड द वास्टनेस एट्टी परसेंट नाइन ट्वेंटी परसेंट सबको लगे कि आपको हो गया ट्राई टू स्टार्ट अटेम्प्टिंग एनी यूपीएससी मॉक टेस्ट पेपर जिसपे भी आपको बिलीव हो वी आर नॉट रिकमेंडिंग यू की इसका ही करो उसका भी करो जिसको भी आपको बिलीव लगे कि ये इसका टेस्ट पेपर टेस्ट पेपर अच्छा है टेस्ट सीरीज अच्छा है ट्राई टू गो फॉर इट एंड ट्राई नेवर ट्राई टू Miss any test papers? Oh, बहुत ही मतलब I mean one of essential part of this uh, entire uh, 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 क्या कहते हैं कि preparation है. So basically you will have to come out of your comfort zone क्योंकि university से तक हम वो लिखने की आदत नहीं होती है. तो आपको जो पढ़ते हैं वो लिखना होगा अच्छे से लिखना होगा. इसके लिए test mock test paper ही सबसे अच्छा होता है. Next type of question is like I am uh, started answer writing but I am clueless how to frame a good answer. This is one one type of uh, question. Which is being asked from our students. So uh, basically, friends, this I am saying in Hindi. I have started writing the answer. 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 effective and exact expression combined with due economy of words in all subject of the examination i will repeat credit will be given for orderly order mein hona chahiye effective bahut effective bhi hona chahiye and exact expression means don't beat around the bushes expression bahut hi 
एग्जैक्ट होना चाहिए जैसे आप किसी को प्रपोज कर रहे हैं तो बहुत ही एग्जैक्ट प्रपोज करते हैं ना कि वही बस वही यूपीएससी में देखते हो आप उसको कैसे प्रपोज कर रहे हैं ताकि उसके मन में कोई कंफ्यूजन ना रहे एंड कमेंट विद द ड्यू इकोनॉमी ऑफ द वर्ड इन ऑल सब्जेक्ट ना ऐसा नहीं कि बस आपने एक बड़ी सी चिट्ठी लिख दी इकोनॉमी ऑफ वर्ड इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ क्राइटेरिया ऑफ दू नो टू क्वालिफाई दिस एग्जामिनेशन सो नीड टू बी वेरी जुडिशियस एंड इकोनॉमिकल विद वर्ड चॉइस ऑफ योर वर्ड बेसिकली but there are few parameters which needs to be taken care of i will discuss those parameters one by one first try to dissect upon the keywords of the question for example if the question is asking for the critically examine upon anything try to dissect upon the various aspect of this question there can be keyword like analyze evaluate also please google all these terms what is the meaning of critically examine what is the meaning of evaluate what is the meaning of analyze try to google it you will get a lots of article are on there it will give you basic understanding what the upsc is seeking from particular question out of you based upon the demand of the particular question the answer will need to be approach covering all important dimensions pehle aapko pata chale ki critically examine mein kaise approach karna hai to aap apna answer ko proceed kar sakte hain while covering all these important dimensions also try to divide your answer into introduction first introduction second is the body and third is the conclusion aur yadi koi matlab you know open debate hai to try to suggest the way forward also aur ye way forward ek positive manner mein hona chahiye basically kisi answer ke char part ho jate hain introduction body conclusion aur way forward inme se aap shuffle kar sakte hain ki ek bar kisi kis mein conclusion hoga kis mein way forward hoga depending upon the nature of the question second parameter uh, of a very good a good answer is the comprehensive coverage of all the content in specific word limit that is what pc is also seeking out of you in its simple and cogent language with clarity of ex expression well presented and structured answer in a readable manner is what you pc is seeking out of you beside this contextual understanding go uh, and beside this quality contextual understanding which 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 we also call alignment quality content means quality content jo aap answer ki likh rahe ho wo quality usme honi chahiye have an added edge of any good answer means aap ye sari cheeze criteria se fulfill kar liye to ye aapka ek acha answer ban sakta hai third is uh, language the language of answer should be expressed in appropriate simple cogent language with concise interlinked statement devoid of any grammatical and syntactical mistake that is what you need to deal with language aapka simple hona chahiye appropriate bhi hona chahiye cogent hona chahiye interlinked statement hona chahiye aisa nahi ki pehle aapne kuch president ke bare mein likha aur agla statement aapne kuch aur cheez ke bare mein likh diya there should be some interlinking between statements as well the fourth one is the judicious mixture of paragraph and pointers based upon the context of the answer means bahut sare question ye bhi puche jate hain ki hame se paragraph likhna hai ya fir pointers mein likhu generally science section wale pointers mein likhte hain engineering wale pointers mein likhte hain aur jo arts background ke hote hain wo paragraph pick from mein likhte hain kyunki wo unke special structure hi aisa hota hai but i will suggest you to judiciously divide your answer into pointers as well as paragraph depending on the nature of the question क्वेश्चन को लग रहा है कि पॉइंटर्स में हो जाएगा टाइम कम है तो पॉइंटर्स में लिखो यदि आपको लग रहा है कि नहीं इसको थोड़ा सा पैराग्राफ में भी लिखना चाहिए थोड़ा सा पॉइंटर्स में दिस इज द वे बेस्ट वे टू एक्सप्रेस योर थॉट्स थोड़ा सा पैराग्राफ में थोड़ा सा पॉइंटर्स में एडिशनली इन केस यू हैव द टाइम यू कैन हाईलाइट द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स फैक्ट और डेटाज यू हैव मेंशन और द डेफिनेशन व्हिच विल एक्चुअली हेल्प यू टू ग्रैब द अटेंशन ऑफ द इवैल्यूएटर बेसिकली आवर फंडा इन द एग्जामिनेशन इज टू ईज uh the life of the evaluator who is evaluating your copies me it means the mere paas ek answer mile jisme bahut hi matlab clubby aur kafi hot pot ho theek hai na aur at the same time mere paas koi answer mile jisme bahut hi clearly marked ho maine jo points important unko highlight kar rakha ho is type ka kuch mere paas aa raha ho naturally mera inclination hoga ki jo ek orderly hai jisko acche se neat and clean tarike se likha gaya hai us type ka jo answer sheet hoga main usko acche se check karunga aur usme acche se padh pad bhi paunga kyunki isme हाईलाइट की गई इन चीजें और सब कुछ किया गया तो उसमें मुझे ज्यादा मार्क्स मिलेगा और दो दो मार्क्स यदि आपको हर एक क्वेश्चन में एक एक मार्क्स जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मार्क्स भी हर एक क्वेश्चन में ज्यादा मिल गया ना तो इट विल हेल्प यू लाइक एनीथिंग सो दीज आर द बेसिक फंडा ऑफ द मेंस एग्जामिनेशन 
that is uh, all these are based upon my understanding on, only in case you are having any suggestion you can come on comment upon uh, you know our uh, section also i will uh, like you to ask me, uh, uh, as much as uh, question possible we are also available on our, our phone on the, our uh, helpline so there no shying on the asking question aap jitne se jitne question pooch sakte hain pooch liye was we are here to help you out only so basically these were the <coughs> basics of the uh, you know how to approach for the mains examination hope uh, you all have enjoyed our this uh, session like we are running out of the time so i will also like to bind it up in order to you know aapko zyada time bina waste kiye hue and uh, so these were basically uh, all about the upsc mains preparation aapko koi question ho leading question so तो आप प्लीज पूछिए हम लोगों से वी आर हियर टू हेल्प यू आउट थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच साइनिंग ऑफ फॉर दिस वीक बाय बाय